up in the sky. Look, it's captivating. It's energizing. It's Alliance's Heroes. Alliance's is the destination for entrepreneurs, investors, CEOs, inventors, leaders, celebrities, and startups. Where our heroes in business align. Now, here's your host flying in, David Kogan, founder of Alliance's. Always an incredible morning where we really unmask our heroes and we learn what makes them tick. Thank you again, too, for the incredible shout-outs uh, for recently having Steinberg Sports CEO on, the Coyote Ugly founder on. Yep, very interesting feedback on that. And, of course, the CEO of the Consumer Electronics Show with all of those electronics and just, wow, trying to learn so many of them. Well, you know what a personal trainer is. Okay, first thought you think of is, here we go, an interview about losing weight and becoming more healthy. Wrong. What if there was a company that provided someone who can come to your home and help you learn the technology that you currently have? I mean, most electronics you you get now don't even come with instructions, right? You're trying to figure it out. You're trying to go online. You're trying to watch video. But you really don't have one there, and I like to say kind of holding your hand and teaching you. We have today in the studio, get this, the co-founders of Groovy Tech. That's G-R-O-O-V-Y-T-E-K dot com, Matt Monroe and Alex Rodas. It's, they're, they're new to Phoenix. They're headquartered in Colorado. Tell me, guys, though, th- with Groovy Tech, how can that help with the frustration of electronics and really make our life less stressful? Absolutely. This is Matt. And we, we sat down and started this company because we understood or we identified a potential need in being able to provide patient and respectful side-by-side personal training. Usually when people are asking for help with their personal technology devices, they, they, tend, to, they tend to get an eye roll. They tend to be made to feel stupid. And we're talking about folks who have achieved a heck of a lot in their careers and in their day-to-day life. And the one area that they're not really that comfortable with is learning how to use their new phone, their tablet, their computer. And we know that there's a million different things that these devices can do. But a personal trainer for technology can really help you hone in on which, what areas to focus on, empower you to be able to do it on your own terms and to be able to really change the relationship from one of kind of apprehension with technology to really getting excited about exploring it. And again, I think it's fabulous. People hire personal trainers for their health, for them to work out, for them to eat healthy, for them to life coaches and all this thing and have someone actually helping you with electronics and that. But how do you keep up on all of this stuff? I mean, you, every time a new phone, and, and not only a new phone, right, but new software that's installed in it and all the different programs out there, how does your staff even keep up with the speed of this stuff? Well, this is Alex, and the truth is that their technology does move at a very, very rapid pace. But our trainers, really, the people that we're working with really aren't looking for uh, to to get assistance with like the latest computer that's out there. But really what they're trying to do is just do more basic things, get comfortable with texting, get comfortable with making sure that their pictures are syncing with their computer, making sure that their passwords are up to date and that they feel secure when they're online. So our trainers will go, well, what happens is that our trainers will call the person that they're going to work with and they build that rapport off of the call. And we understand what it is that they want to do before we go to their home. So if there's something that we still don't know, we will research it. So by the time we get there, we can address those those issues. And I got to imagine with your staff, since this is what they do on a daily basis, they're just able to keep up with it because they've got that strong foundation where this other stuff, I would imagine, just comes so natural. And again, you can reach these this company, Incredible, the co-founders of GroovyTech.com, G R. O-O-V-Y-T-E-K dot com. And, of course, we'll have it on our website at alliances.com. We'll have their link. That's E-L-I-A-N-C-E-S dot com. The place where entrepreneurs align and be part of the community with me, David Kogan. And you may even have the chance to meet these two geniuses who started this company to help, I think, really relieve the stress of when somebody's, you know, trying to figure out all these electronics that are out there. But how did you guys come up with such a cool idea? Well, this is Matt, and one of the things that happened was I was sitting with my father-in-law a couple of days after the holidays, and we were in his home office. He's a very successful individual in business, and he said, gosh, 
they just updated my um, Outlook, and all I want to do is find out where spell check is. Can you come over here and show me where it is? You're a tech guy. It's like they really should be thinking about, with these updates, thinking about folks over the age of 40 or 50 that are just using a couple of elements of these programs. He, he's a gentleman who would print out his emails and read them and wanted to make sure that the spell check was in place. So we were like, oh, my goodness, there isn't really a user manual for a lot of these technology devices and advancements. And maybe we could be a help and be that resource so that people know where to turn when they have some simple questions about how to navigate it. So I get a phone call uh, the next morning and Matt tells me about his father-in-law and the fact that they couldn't find the spell checker. And it took <laughs> both of them uh, several, like what, an hour yeah. to try to find it. So from there, we, we kind of put our heads together. We started looking around and we saw that there really isn't a resource out there that comes that, that is patient and respectful and will sit side by side with you and will work on your agenda and on your terms in order for you to get comfortable with your devices. Now, you know, I wish that your company was around when VCRs were out because mine is still in my house, still flashing away, and I would have called you guys in a second. <laughs> I still can't get it to shut off. And I love, again, the idea of someone coming who's patient, who will, you know, in essence, kind of hold your hand to learn all this technology. What's the most popular request that you get? Uh, this is Matt. I would say it, it's it's remarkable how similar the requests are. Um, a lot of people are having trouble just understanding and getting a hold of organizing their photos. So they'll take sh they'll go on vacation. They'll take pictures with their smartphone. Then they don't know if it's been uploaded to the cloud. It then links into affecting their storage, and they're getting pinged from their phone. Hey, you're running out of storage. Do you want to upgrade? So that's really big. Security and passwords is another issue that we're helping folks with. Um, getting devices to connect and talk to each other. You know, my wireless printer isn't printing. What am I supposed to do with that? So those are a lot of the things that we come up with. And also those pesky pop-ups. Uh, <laughs> people get pop-ups on their computer, and they don't know if they should click on them, if they should hit cancel, if they should hit OK. So we get a lot of, uh, a lot of requests for what do I do with these pesky pop-ups. These are literally, and I am not kidding, the things that I was going through this morning before <laughs> we came on here on the air, all of these things that I'm still going crazy. My phone's still telling me I don't have enough with this iCloud, but I've just already deleted things. I mean, it's just so frustrating. And I think the biggest thing, too, is to hire you guys to save time than trying to go through the trial and error and searching and calling and all that. In fact, I'm going to probably hire you guys services for my mother so that I don't have to be your tech support anymore so I could work on our hero show. But, you know, what are maybe some of the one to two, three secrets? Because you mentioned about passwords and you mentioned about all the cyber stuff going on out there and, and identity. You know, that's a big thing, too. Maybe secrets that you could share that you when you go to someone's home, help them with when they ask about that, especially with all these passwords. How do you keep track of a gazillion websites and they tell you you're supposed to have different passwords for everybody? I'll tell you the real hero is going to be the individual that figures out how to truly have one password and have that go across and not have to update and all those things. So maybe that's something we can brainstorm after this. Um, the, the secret is really having an approach of not trying to do everything at once. You know, it's really, you know, small bite-sized pieces and you can really tackle whatever you're looking to do. You have to be able to tune out some of the extra noise. And that's what our trainers really focus on. There's so many different, you know, acronyms floating around and updates. And, you know, right now we're at a point with technology and personal technology where it's very sharky waters. Everyone's trying to compete. The different companies are trying to compete with different devices and softwares and things like that. So, I, I have a feeling that, you know, a little bit further down the road, we're not going to be as reliant on the different devices and it's going to become more, you know, AI to a degree. But at this point, just taking it easy, getting bite sized pieces that you can tackle and build on that based on what you want to do. It's about using technology on your own terms instead of being, you know, dependent on something you don't understand. And I would I would add to that that one of the secrets as well is that people aren't that far off from learning and from being comfortable with their device. They're much closer than they realize, but because they have gotten the eye rolls and because they have gotten to feel as if though the device is king and they're the ones that are, that are creating all the problems, that they're not as close as they are. But it really is just 
a, a few sessions away from them getting to that comfort level to get to where they need to be with their personal technology. Now, we've got a little less than 30 seconds left, and one of the things is, is help me understand why it should be more comfortable to hiring someone from your company versus, you know, I got a friend of a friend or my son's got a friend of a friend who may know and all of this type of stuff besides trying to, you know, schedule it and, and, and using an actual company like yours. Tell me wh how I could be more safe with that. Well, first of all, from a logistical perspective, we come to your home. We work side by side. That time is blocked out just for you and your goal and your agenda. Um, all of our trainers are very carefully screened, um, bonded, background checked, everything you can imagine from that perspective. And one of the things we don't do is we don't hire geeks or nerds. We hire folks that are called cultivators. So they're motivated by seeing those light bulb moments and making that happen. So you're going to have a guide who's going to work side by side and be vested in your success. Awesome. Well, Matt and Alex, you help people not be afraid of the technology. You keep them current with advancements in personal devices. That makes you a hero. Matt and Alex, go to GroovyTech.com, G-R-O-O-V-Y-T-E-K.com, GroovyTech.com. We'll also have the link on our website. This is David Kogan with the Alliances, and thank you to our famous producer, Loopy Docs, with Loopy Docs Design. David Kogan. <laughs>